Okay, so we're now going to go ahead and take out the packing and the local, and you can retract the vestibule and see that you can't actually see any left cream. It's all absorbed into the tissue. Okay, now we're going to go ahead and use our little hello smile technique for mm -hmm. local anesthesia. Now, sometimes we show them the show the syringe to the child. Sometimes we don't. Princess, we're just going to go ahead and use the sleepy juice to put your teeth to sleep, just like this. Okay, we're going to massage it just like that. Okay. If you feel any pinchy, pinchy like this, I want you to raise your balloon. Okay. Can we test that? I'm pinching, pinching. What are you going to do? Raise your balloon? Can you show me if you can raise your balloon? No? Okay, you just don't want to get pinchy, pinchy. And then, you know, she's pretty, you know, she's at about 40% nitrous, and she's very happy with that. So that certainly can help us. Okay, so then we always use the air distraction for propio reception overload. And I usually, okay, my, our technique is to, to do it with the mouth closed, okay? So first we're going to do the upper, bite down tight, okay? So, very good, breathe. Good job, good job. Okay. wow. And our standard of care is that we don't tell them they're going to feel any sort of discomfort, you don't use any of the key words that can alert or alarm the child. You can say that they can feel ticklish. Are you feeling ticklish? Yeah? Okay. Now we do the bottom. Okay. Again. Bite down, bite down tight. That's it. Bite, 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 bite. bite. Yeah, you some actually close. But can you show me a lips? Mm, like that. Good job. Look at me. Like this. Mm, can you do that? Mm, good job. Uh huh. Wow. Excellent. Good. And the air just sort of is almost like the shaking of the tissue, except we don't have to do it. So right there. Oh, bite down. Bite down for me. That's it. We give it slowly, as slowly as possible. I'm using septocaine here, four percent septocaine, with a thirty-three gauge tip. Okay. And for this entire upper right and lower right quad you end up giving about just less than half of the carpio okay so that's just less than half of the copy which would be more than sufficient for us to do our restorations which in this case is a stainless steel crown uh, and uh, a do restoration on the bottom and top respectively